Now we have we have the lawyer's joke book, but you know the the good thing about it on QCCR, we have the lawyer's joke of the day, and guess what? It's sponsored by a law firm, <laughs> lawyer with sense of humor. Come on. All right, uh, this is uh, Dick, uh, our sales manager's office. I try to get it, but I get kicked out, <laughs> and it does it. Uh, he has sales, more sales. Talk to clients. We like that. He's not in the office. He's probably selling. That's good. <laughs> Here's the uh, maybe next to the CBC's cavernous library is the uh, biggest library uh, these days. It has 10,000 albums, 6,000 on that side. That's partially cataloged. You see country, easy listening, rock, and 4,000. Four thousand on this side that hasn't been cataloged. It has five or six hundred forty-fives. It's got several hundred CDs. Uh, it's all over the place. We're, it's a work in progress. It's been in progress for uh, two years, and hopefully it'll be it'll be solved soon. This is the uh, main area. And the radio station with uh, talented uh, Michael, uh, Mark, uh, Malcolm Charlton, MC, uh, who's a combination of a production guy, on-air guy, computer guy, production guy. We mean it when we say one person does a lot of work around here. Mm -hmm. And uh, seriously, uh, it's where we have, he's on the production side, and over there is the digital, digital jukebox on air side. We are 99.9% uh, .9 taped, uh, but it doesn't matter. There's somebody in here from around 7.30 until 5. So, uh, you know, our attitude is uh, with the systems that we have, why not put people to work? Treat Barbara Mandrell there. She's sleeping single in a double bed. Oh, poor Barbara. Pretty Fender right now. The rains came. Then we're going to take a look at the weather. Ron to Vincent with the Cheryl Ho. Oh. That's Ron to Vincent with the Cheryl Holmes family, and I won't go away on 99.3 QCCR Classic Country Showdown for a Monday evening. Monday, September 27th, by the way. So, what happened on this date in country music history? Well, Pierre, Pe pa Patrick, I almost get, want to get Pierre out there. Patrick Bork was born in Terrebonne, Quebec. So what? Well, he replaces Jeff Loberg in uh, Iverson Drive on August 2002, just months after the group has picked up its first American hit. And in 1998, Steve Warner receives a traffic ticket for driving in a HOV lane without a passenger. Now, that wasn't nice, but also not nice was at the time he was talking on his cell phone with Bill Anderson. Continue right now our classic country showdown with Anita Paris. This, is, uh, this could be the future home of uh, QCCR, you never know. However, we're given uh, some uh, equipment very nicely by CKBW. Uh, the console is the one that was at the Atlantic Media Institute. I bought it in 2001 for around $7,500. Uh, I got it for a steal of a deal for around $500. So, uh, you know, I, and it'll go in uh, to our main control room in around three weeks time so uh, that's good it's radio the best thing I like about it it's got a telephone uh, pot so because I like to phone a lot of people when I uh, when I do work and the rest of the equipment what well, doesn't seem like much but it's broadcast all wires go down and everything else so uh, yeah, we're looking forward to it
the mag driver. Get him out. <laughs> QCCR FM 99.3 in Queens County.